Welcome back guys to episode 20 of my Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Let's Play. Um, last time you saw me I was in the room with Julius down yonder. Well, as it turns out, I kind of lost many times and decided the, I was not recording at the time somehow. So, what I did is, before this episode I did a bit of research on the interwebs and I discovered that if we go to the clock tower, we can probably find a... If, if you're playing hard mode, you could find this sword. It's, um, Death Sky Scythe. And it's interesting. Interesting. Um, it's, it does dark damage. And I would say it's the next to most... The most powerful item, other than the... Lama Solius, or whatever the light sword is. Um, except Julius is strong against light damage, so we will not be using it. Instead, we will be trying to find this scythe and use that instead. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, find our way to where we battled death, um during the, uh, I'm not sure what episode it was, but, uh, you know where death lives in the, or was, in the clock tower. Sorry, I'm stuttering so much. Um, yeah, so I'll pause the video and go to the clock tower outside the boss room. See you guys there. Alright guys, there is a oh, Medusa head. Um, good day. Okay, we need bat mode. I just passed by. It's death's robe. It's uh, right here. I was on my way to uh, death's room. Haven't been there yet. Uh, and just happened to see an item right here while I used bat mode. Went zoop and got it. So yeah, you might want to consider getting that because I hear it's pretty good. Let's see... Hmm... This is Dracula's tunic. And compared to Dracula's tunic... Uh... Death's robe really raises your luck, doesn't it? Alright. It's not that great, but... I don't know. Alright, now we want to go to this room, preferably taking down all these annoying birds. Down, you harpy. Alright, you see that? Right there. Above it. Zoop. Alright, we got Death Sickle. Let's try it out. This only appears in the hard uh, thing, by the way. The uh, hard difficulty. Alright, so this is even more powerful than... The Klama Solus in terms of strength, and it has an amazing reach. Look at that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my way back down to uh, where we fight Julius. So, see you guys there. Lightning Doll Soul! Woohoo! Alright guys, are you ready to face Julius? Yeah, Julius does a fun thing with his, like...
Uh, whoops. Alright, let's try this again. I feel like I am very notorious for dying, so let's try not to die this go-around. Before I came here, I bought, like, quite a few items from, uh, Hammer in hopes that... In hopes that uh, I can use them. But unfortunately, I don't use them, so... I think Julius has uh, 6,000 hit points. And this guy is like 50 years old, mind you. Yeah, this is the thing you want to watch out for. And of course he has the... Now he has ranged attacks, and I just died. <laughs> Crap. Alright, he is back down to his... This thing. The sad part is, is it later is revealed that he's holding back in this fight. to use up all of these. Ha. Ha ha. Stoop, it hit a knife. Yeah, see, he's holding back. Or he was holding back. I fought you, I felt even in this moment. Alright, so now what we can do is we're going to go back and we are going to save. Yes, we're going to do that wonderful thing that allows us to not die. Alright, so this is Chaos Realm. Of course, there's a save room in here. I should have remembered. Chaotic Realm. 
Yeah, this place is really bizarre. It's basically it looks basically like other parts of the castle, except it's not these it's not those parts of the castle. Might I add that Death Scythe is a little bit slower than the Clamasolius. Plus it doesn't do a lot of damage to uh, dark enemies like that. Oh, but I do miss the range. Oh yeah, I found out what was uh, scaling up the damage. It was the Lubricant Soul. Gain strength as it loses hit points. Yep. Oh. Flaming arrows. Those seem fun. Why you're no fun. Why can't I hit you? If you collect all the souls, you can get the uh, Chaos Ring, which is fun. <sighs> See, this looks like the dance hall now, or whatever. like the spot where we... I really didn't want to use all these all at once. Guy's soul's pretty fun to have. Oh yeah, and I died by the way, so no lightning doll soul for us. Kinda hoping that a save room. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. And this looks like where we got the, uh, Well, um, I'm sorry guys, 
the Demon Lord Soul is the one that Dracula uses. It's the giant black lava ball things. Oh, you know what? Those succubus kind of look like uh, Mina. And no. <laughs> I'm like, no, that doesn't seem worth it. This is, part looks like the arena. Arena was fun, right? Yes. And oh lord, the clock tower. Medusa heads and all. Guy's like a pimped up version of uh I think this guy's like the final guard or something. I don't know, I didn't really <sighs> didn't really look at the name when I first attacked it. guys are fun. I think they have the highest level, uh, what is it? Yellow soul. Whatever the yellow souls are called. I know the red ones are bullets or the blue one bullets. Red souls are bullet souls. Alright, we can get out of this. We can get out of this. Just gotta run for your life. This is a mimic. In fact, you could probably sp farm the uh, mimic soul from that room. Like so. Oh my gosh, you just died again. Ha. Huh. Alright. Alright, and that is chaos right behind that. So, we've definitely passed the wrapping up point for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'm sorry about all of my mumbling. I shall fix that, hopefully, in my next playthrough series. So, next episode we will be going up against chaos and watching the ending. I will make a pr I promise not to speed through all the messages. So. See you next episode, y'all.